Hi, and welcome back to another video and how-to from Wagmore Pet Boutique and Bakery. We provide healthy, organic treats and food you will not find in an ordinary box store. Our store is loaded with human gifts and apparel for you and your four-legged ones to leave with happy. I'm going to head up now to our bakery. We're going to get all our supplies and tools needed to start the next do-it-yourself baking video. Let's get started. Hi everyone, welcome back to another video and how-to at Wagmore Pet Boutique and Bakery. Today we're going to be actually frosting and showing you some of the cookies that we sell right in our storefront and on our website. So let's get started, grab a few ingredients, and we'll show you how to do it. We used our heart cookie cutters. So we have our cookies dried, baked, and ready. We have our doggy frosting, thanks to PatriceForPets.com. And from PatriceForPets.com, our FDA-approved food coloring mix. Your frosting bag you'll need, your choice of tips for decorating, and a bowl to mix with a spoon and cold water. For all the viewers at home, if you don't obviously have the yogurt frosting, the powder, um, a cornstarch would be just as fine to substitute it. We have our half a cup measuring filled with our yogurt powdered frosting. At home, it would be your cornstarch. We'll put that in the bowl. And our one tablespoon of water. We'll mix it well. If it's still dry and lumpy, we'll just add another tablespoon. Our frosting is all mixed. You're gonna to wanna to make it look like almost like a pancake batter consistency. It's not too runny, it's not too thick. We're ready to add our coloring. Since today we're doing ladybugs, we're gonna start with the base and we're gonna use red. So we're gonna take one teaspoon and mix it in really well. So our frosting's all ready. The red is all set, mixed in well. It hasn't changed anything as far as the consistency. It's still a pancake-like batter. And we're gonna be ready to pour it in our frosting bag. For those at home, the cornstarch with the water mixed in, you can also add food coloring. Make sure there's no sugar added in your food coloring that you pick out or you happen to have in your kitchen. I'm going to attempt to multitask and hold the phone while I do this. I'm going to pick out the bigger opening tip so it comes out quicker and easier to put down the base for ladybugs. We're going to drop it in the bottom of our, our bag here, push it towards the end. I'm going to use a mason jar today. You're more than welcome to use a coffee mug or a glass at home to line it. Get the edges around. And then that way we're ready to pour it in. We'll be good to go. Our frosting's all filled. Usually there's a guide or a line on the bag for a maximum. And then I just cut a tip at the end and then we are all set to frost. So now that I have all our hearts frosted, you may have the situation that I ran into. You may have ran out of frosting, depending on how many cookies you're decorating. So just repeat the instructions with the half a cup of cornstarch and tablespoon of water, second if needed. Um, I purposely do an overflow and they look messy right now. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a small brush and I just go around the edges and hide all the cookie and I'm gonna do that for the rest of them. 
Now that I have all my hearts frosted and I touched up and went around all the edges, I'm gonna let this sit for a good 24 hours with the powdered yogurt. With the cornstarch, you're probably gonna only need a few hours to do the second part. So we'll see you in a few. The red frosting on the hearts are all hardened up and we're ready for step number two. Same steps from the first. And this time we're gonna add our black food coloring and our water to do the next step for our ladybugs. We just finished the eyeballs. We're gonna let them dry for a few hours and they came out so cute. Uh, when we're all done and dried up, we're gonna take a knife and we're gonna cut around the edges to take them off the parchment paper that we lined it with. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope you enjoyed and had fun decorating your ladybugs today. I hope your four-legged ones enjoy them. Until the next video, please like and subscribe and in the comments below, let me know how yours turned out. And obviously for every video, the most important part, the test. Mm -hmm.